Hello, my name is Faisal Khan. I'm a banking and a payment consultant. Today, I want to talk about something slightly controversial. United Arab Emirates versus Turkey. These are two competing countries and in many ways, I don't know if that's the right word to use, are enemies. They're not, they're not frenemies, maybe frenemies might be a good word. So why UAE and Turkey and why are we discussing them in a payments and a money and a banking video? Well, let me explain. Turkey has slowly been winning contracts and winning banking and other relationship from the UAE when it comes to money transfer and correspondent banking and other accounts. Turkey has a very good record as far as FATF is concerned. UAE now has been put under a has been given, you know, basically a notice that, you know, your controls are not adequate. And I'm sure the United Arab Emirates government is going to fight tooth and nail if not by brute force. So what is happening here? Turkey is winning business, UAE is losing business. And why does that? Well, first of all, you understand Turkey is a supporter of Qatar and anyone who's a supporter of Qatar becomes basically an enemy of the UAE. Turkey has put that Khashoggi charges against Saudi government and so forth. And Saudi, UAE, as you know, have done some very, a lot of injustice to the government of Qatar. And because anyone is supporting Qatar, etc., there's a, you know, there, there are essentially these two Muslim blocs, which includes Iran, Turkey, Qatar, and many other countries are now going to be part of it. And UAE, Saudi Arabia are sort of, you know, fighting tooth and nail to make sure that they use their economic sanctions or that other sort of military um, issues and try to uh, split the people and make them, you know, come on their side. But what's happening is, Dubai has always been a conduit to Africa, to Sub-Saharan Africa, to Northern Africa, Northeast Africa, to some of the, you know, the uh, Arabian countries like Syria, Lebanon, Jordan, etc. And Turkey has now won that game. A lot of the money transfer operators who were opening accounts in Dubai are now preferring Turkey. Uh, it's first of all cheaper to live here, cheaper to operate an office, much more friendly. I mean, I live in Istanbul, so I'm very biased when it comes to this. I would not go to Dubai and open an office over there because it's very expensive. And there's a, there's a, there's a general sense of discrimination in UAE. And when now what you're seeing is a lot, lot of the uh, MTOs in the UK, a lot of the money transfer operators in Europe, in Africa, in the United States and Canada are using Turkey. The, the African MTOs are using the correspondent banks in Turkey. The African banks are providing, being provided correspondent banking services by the Turkish banks. And Turkish banks, by the way, are really, really advanced. I have to give it to them. They do a stellar job. A lot of the Turkish MTOs are now operating locally in, in the sense that they're coming here. They're opening their back offices in Istanbul. They're opening their back offices in Ankara, in Izmir, etc. They're partnering partnering up with local financial institutions, getting access to correspondent banking, getting access to aggregate correspondent payout networks, getting access to banking relationships, and not just uh, American MTOs are coming, Canadian MTOs have joined, the UK MTOs are coming in, a lot of the European MTOs are coming in, and this is where the pressure is mounting on UAE. People are now saying, you know what? Maybe 10 years ago, UAE was a great thing, but not anymore. Now it's expensive to operate. Now too many questions are asked. Now we're getting charged left, right and center. We have to pay through our nose just to have an, some sort of an establishment and an operation in, in, in UAE. So Turkey is basically welcoming them with open arms and it is winning the game. Not only is Turkey winning the game, Turkey is saying, listen, we believe in fair play. We believe in good play. So a lot, and believe me, I'm not just joking, a lot of Saudi and UAE MTOs are also now looking at Turkish operations because they say, you know what, we will lose out. We need, we need those clients, we need those countries, we need to have those operations. And if our respective governments will, you know, not play ball, then we need to figure out how to go play ball because this is, after all, a commercial, you know, uh, we are a commercial institution. We have to make money. So this is what they're doing. And guess where they're coming? They're coming to Turkey. UAE versus Turkey. UAE may have had an edge before. Not anymore. Now it's Turkey that is winning the game and winning the game fair and square. No arm twisting, 
no you know uh, let's say bad tactics and certainly no economic agenda being pushed down someone else's throat or military agenda so if you are if someone who had an operation in let's say dubai or abu dhabi or where rasul khaima etc and you are thinking of getting out if you're thinking of saying hey you know what the uae is becoming too expensive for me hey you know what dubai is not what it used to be hey you know what the banking in dubai sucks now and really it does suck right now so maybe you want to talk to us maybe turkey is the new destination for you turkish airline by the way flies everywhere more than Etihad, Emirates, Qatar, Singapore, Lufthansa combined. That's where uh, Turkish Airlines flies. So maybe it's time to look at this. This is not an endorsement by Turkish Airlines or the Turkish MTOs or the Turkish banking sector or the Turkish government. This is simply because I want to share what is fair, what is right and what I think you should look at. So if you're thinking of, you know, um, doing anything in Turkey, if you're thinking of getting some sort of a, a bank account in Turkey for your MTO, correspondent tie-ups, access to payment aggregators and other networks in Africa and other, you know, uh, uh, Arab countries and so forth, if you're looking at back office operations, etc., you might want to consider Turkey. I'll be happy to communicate with you on this subject. If you have a question or a comment, there's a contact form in the description below. Please fill it out you know, and we can communicate. If you have a general uh, question on this uh, video, please uh, do so below. If you are going to troll me, I will block you and you'll be invisible so your comments will not be seen by anyone. But if you have a general positive comment regarding this thing, you know, uh, please uh, paste it below. If you would like to get in touch via WhatsApp, there's a WhatsApp number as well. Anyways, till next time, this is Faisal Khan signing off.